Last week, we were finally able to get the engine all back together. Now this week, let's get it running. After about a month since we broke down, we've just been waiting on parts and all the stuff from eBay and shipping super slow. But anyways, we finally got the engine back together. Um, I just finished rewiring uh, the battery tray. So I've got everything ready to, uh, fingers crossed, hopefully uh, it starts. I mean, this is the part of it that's kind of like, oh, I hope it works. I hope we put everything back together. So. Uh, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this thing started. All right, this part's always nerve wracking. I'm just gonna turn it on for a second and turn it off. Uh, hopefully it starts. Just to kind of get some of the fluids going through it again, then we'll check fluids and then we'll start it back up. All right. Almost. See what's going on here. I heard something spill out. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Another issue. Something just dumped out. We maybe didn't connect the line. I don't know. All right, let's figure it out. All right, I realized what it is. It's actually just I filled uh, the coolant up a little too much, so it just dumped out. Uh, I just put hose water in it for right now because I'm going to flush the whole system. So I don't want to use uh, radiator fluid or coolant right now. So anyways, that's what it was. Just wanted to make sure what the mess was underneath. So now. <laughs> All right, let's check out everything. What I'm gonna do now is that we've got the oil change and all the filters change. Uh, the one thing I really wanna do is just flush the system. So I'm gonna flush the radiator. Uh, right now I just filled it up with water and a lot of the stuff that's existing in there. So I've got three clear cups and I'm gonna do a three step process. So I'm first gonna drain this right here and fill up the one cup and then drain the whole system. And then I'm gonna put some of the, it's somewhere around here, radiator flush through the system. And then I actually got to drive it around for like one to two hours, really let it heat up, go through the system and cycle, and then drain that. That'll get a lot of the crap and junk out. And then we'll do the final fill up and uh, it'll be good to go. Pick the bucket. <laughs> that was an absolute disaster. <laughs> Note to self. You need a little bit more. You should probably do this outside. Should have done this outside. Oh boy. Oh my. So this is test sample number one. Obviously that's disgusting and horrible. So we're gonna work on this till we get it to be nice and green uh, is the color that actually this will be eventually, but yeah, it needs some work. Paul and I are laughing. That was pretty ridiculous on how much that came out. Typically, if you had like a drain valve or one of like the pet cocks underneath, but this system doesn't have it. So uh, you have to pull the hose straight off the back of the radiator and uh, it is what it is. That was the mess that we made. Now we know. So I'm going to go ahead and add, here's the radiator flush stuff that we have. It's called Blue Devil Complete. Uh, I'm going to run that in the system, this, uh, and then I'll add the water on top of it. And then we're going to run out and go get some tacos. And then once we get back, we will drain this system and uh, take a sample and see where we're at. And if it's looking better, uh, I've got a couple of the gallons of the press stone so we'll run a whole nother system through it maybe run it for like a day or two then drain that again and then see where we're at and then put another one so it's a little bit of a process but it definitely needs to happen on a vehicle that's over 30 years old i took the thermostat out 
And I took that out so that way the system will just continually flush and run. It's not gonna be on a threshold. So I'm just gonna run without it until the system is uh, fully ready and then I'll put it back in spot. You ready to go on a bro date? 16 rifle, no way, dude. Here, let me get your door for you. Thanks, Rick. First class service around here. Bro. All right, we made it to the uh, the taco place. Oh shoot, we almost lost the gurney. Hopefully we didn't. If you're wondering what this did, this is where the gurney would sit, except it just wasn't holding. Um, anyways, made it to the taco place. Everything seems to be good. Uh, we'll be back. These are legit. These are legit. Legitness. So this is like our favorite little taco place here in St. Augustine. Beer. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Starts like a charm. Woo! I feel like that's all you've been doing. Woo! It took a wrong turn. Dude, this thing like drives through this. I'm telling you, this is like easier than driving on the road. All right, right before we made it back to the warehouse, there's like a little path that we decided to just really go off road with. And honestly, I've never felt so confident in the vehicle that I've had off road. I mean, this thing literally was just plowing over anything and everything. Yeah, I was nervous on this trip because this is the first time I've driven it since it broke down. And uh, we had a successful trip and we got tacos. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is pull this in and we're gonna go ahead and drain all the fluid out again uh, that went through the whole radiator in the system. And then I'll fill it back up with water tonight and then I'll probably do another whole run pass through of it and uh, keep cycling through to get it nice and clean. True story, I just filmed a whole entire thing about an update on the Humvee and the mic was never plugged in, so. but. Ended up running for the past few days. We got the Humvee on the road and really we're just flushing through that system. I mean, we did this for like about a week now. We did 10 full flushes on it. And wait till you see, check out this visual difference right here of what happened. So let me explain. So right here was the original fluid that was in the Humvee. This was the first flush that we did. You can see how dark it is. We got so much crap out of there did another one back to back from that and drove this one we put in and drove about two hours same with this one and then we flush it with water and just kind of we're flushing through the system so you can see how it gets a little clearer and then right here we did a solid flush and i drove it around for about three days um, with this flush into it and then you can see it starts to just get lighter and lighter and lighter as i continue to flush it and drive around with it and then finally number 10 is the fluid that is currently in there now it's pretty crazy it makes a big difference and that's something even like you guys could do uh back at your house or on your vehicle if it's an older vehicle um i ended up using this blue devil radiator flush and i mean as you can visually see it really got a lot of crap that was just sitting inside of the radiator and through the system out so we got a lot of exciting projects we got some new tires got some stuff going on over here we're gonna paint it, we got AC, transmission swap. We got a lot of fun stuff coming up uh, before we get into the actual build. And this thing's gonna start to take change a lot in the next few weeks. So stay posted, we'll see you soon. Next week we have a special guest and some new upgrades.